What's up guys? So it's the next day, it's Sunday, and we're gonna make some smoked wings. Um I did grilled wings, we're gonna do some smoked ones. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm at Wegmans, I'm gonna get the shit. I'll uh maybe I'll put it all on the screen now. If not, I'm following how to barbecue right uh smoked wing recipe basically. So yeah. And I can do recipes that are my own, like put in my own if you guys want. I just basically I'm vlogging when I'm cooking and I like to cook this recipe so yeah we're gonna do that all right guys so i'm almost home i got my ingredients um we're gonna make this marinade super simple um but i want to do this best the day before but if you do it the same day as long as you do it for three four hours or more you'll be fine and um yeah all right guys so now all you have to do is throw together our marinade so i got here two cups of hot sauce One whole bottle of zesty Italian dressing. Half a cup of soy sauce. And half a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, how the fuck it's going Let's mix that up. I'm making sure to scrape the hot sauce off the side of the bowl. Yep. I promise you guys, it's not too hot. A little salty, a little zesty from the dressing. It's a little bit of heat on the back end. But yeah, now you gotta get your wings in. Okay guys, so this is what I got. I got two packs of family size wings. I probably will not make both. I'm gonna open one up, put them in a bag, see what they look like, and then go from there. All right guys, so, I mean, that's plenty of wings for, I'm gonna have a few people over, probably have some, so that should be plenty enough. So all I'm gonna do is pour half the marinade in one bag. Okay. And then half the marinade in the other bag. Okay, now next thing I'm gonna do is get out as much air as I can, and the way I do that is I put it at the end of the sink. Um, you guys can see that. Let me do that. So you can see how it's at the edge of the sink, and right here is where the liquid is because of gravity. And you simply just close up your bag, which I seem to be having difficulty. Well, you get the point. Close your fucking bags. All right, so that didn't seem to be working, and I think it's because there's too much weight pushing. So what I did is I sealed up almost the whole bag now. So that's a little opening, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. Basically, roll the wings over like this now, and now get that nice seal. And you want to really massage this into the wings, right? Now I'm gonna make these for dinner. It's about 10 o'clock now, so we'll probably have dinner around 5, 30, 6 o'clock, sometime around there. So every couple hours, I'll come up and just move these around, 
Yeah, we're gonna put these in the fridge. So hold on one second. All right, guys. So I got them in the marinade. I put them in this little container. Always do this when you're making marinade, especially if they're in like a bag like this. They can leak a little bit, as you can see. And you don't want to cross contaminate. So they're in a bag. They're in a container, so if they leak, and I'm gonna put the lid on. Apparently, I can't put lids on things today. But anyways, it doesn't have to be super tight for this. Just be careful when you take it out. Put this in the fridge every couple hours, you know, move it around again. Minimum three to four hours. So I got plenty of time. And we're just gonna let them go till dinner time. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we're gonna make a blue cheese dressing, homemade, it's super easy. Take one cup of mayonnaise, mayonnaise, that in there. Half a cup of sour cream. So I'm just gonna use half of this one cup package. Looks about to be half, and you can play with these measurements and adjust it to your taste. Four ounces of crumbly blue cheese. I'm gonna do almost the whole packet because this is a five ounce container. And it looks about right. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Looks about right. And then a little bit of Killer Hogs AP seasoning, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic. You can make up your own AP rub. Just literally go on YouTube and look up how to make an AP rub. You can get this at Walmart, though. And um, I'm just going to do a little bit. Because the blue cheese is already a little salty. And then it's just as simple as mixing it. And you want to do this at least an hour before, but you know, overnight, the longer the better, the longer the flavors are going to marinate and you know, work together. in mind the flavor is going to change while it sits in you know marinades or mixes and you know, all the flavors you can introduce so yeah same thing every once in a while i'll just come and kind of go like this with this and put this in the fridge and um yeah basically what you want to do is take the wings about 30 to 40 minutes before you're going to cook them and put them out of room temperature and we'll get to that part when we get there though all right guys got a little sandwich for lunch i got some mustard, some mayonnaise, some smoked gouda. I got bologna. I got um, smoked Cajun turkey. I got gabagool. I got ham. I got Doritos. Cool ranch. And the bev is a snowberry peace tea. By the way, just for you guys that were interested, that's what it came to for everything I needed for this. All right, guys, so I took the wings out um, and I'm gonna let them air dry for a little bit. Just let some of that marinade drip off. Um, while that's going, we have time to go get our smoker situated. So let's go do that. All right, guys, so, smoker's going at 275. Time to hit these with a little AP rub.
Okay, nice dusting AP rub. And a nice light coat, medium coat of the barbecue rub. Okay, and then we're gonna flip and do the same thing to the other side. Okay guys, so it's time to put the wings on the smoker. Now, if you have a big enough smoker, like a power smoker, you literally just keep them right on the rack that they're already in and pick it up and put them on there. This smoker won't fit the rack, unfortunately, so I just take them off. So, I'm just gonna wanna work quick. Get them on there. All right, guys, so it's been an hour. Um, for whatever reason, this hasn't got up past 200 something, but sometimes I think that the temperature gauge on this is just fucked and it's actually at temperature, but we'll see. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carefully take this whole tray out, put it on top, close the smoker back up. I gotta get the rub. Hold on one second. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is hit this side the top side with a little bit more rub. And then I'm gonna flip them and hit the other side with more rub. Same thing this side, add rub on this top side, flip them, and add rub on the other side. All right guys, so I'm about 15 minutes, 16 minutes out from those being on the smoker for another 30 minutes after being flipped. So I got a charcoal chimney's worth of lump or um, briquettes. I'm just gonna charcoal these real quick just to finish them up, get them a little bit of a crisp, because they're not very crispy. Again, for some reason my smoker just isn't heating properly right now, like it's only at 235 when it should be at 275. So, I don't know why it's doing that, so just to combat that and get a little crisp, we're going to finish off on the grill, which I do usually anyways, so I'm like doing nothing very different. So yeah, get your shit heated up. Well, motherfuck. Well, it's absolutely pouring. So what I did is I turned off the smoker, there's about a minute and 45 seconds left to smoke. That doesn't matter. This should be cooked all the way through now. We are going to check them with a the thermometer but we're gonna get the grill ready and start tri grilling them. So yeah, let's get that going. All 
All right, guys, so here's just one without being on the thing. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. So by the way, I'm doing this in two batches. This one's pretty much done. I'm gonna take it off, put the other one on there. You could put them all on there, but I got the time, so why not? All right, guys, so this is how they came out. They look awesome. Let's give one a try. All right, guys, so let's get one of these wings. Um, this one's real good. All right, so you can see the nice char on it, but also smoke. By the way, mushroom it, or umbrella, I mean, with the meat. Mm. You get a little bit of the spice from the hot sauce, just a little bit. Um, you get definitely get the smoke, the apple smoke I used in the hickory. You get the tanginess from the dressing, the salt. And, Savoriness from the Worcestershire and the, um, whatever the hell the other stuff's called. Soy sauce. Let's try some of the homemade blue cheese. We'll do a, a drum this time. I have to say these wings were really small, so you should get better wings than the ones I actually got. And it'll work better, but they still are really good. Why do you want to end? Was it real or just pretend? Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why do you want to end? Mm. Was he really just a friend? <clears throat> Alright guys, so that's going to be it for right now. I'll see you guys in a second. So Dante and, and Danielle were here, but I didn't record it. And now Tony and Brian are here. We're playing golf. And Tony's giving me the stink face. She wants me to hurry up and play. So Yeah, I'm trying to take my turn, bitch. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in a second. What do you think, Goma? One through ten. Shit, ten. Okay. All right. All right, guys. See you guys soon. I know you. you. Yeah, it's for a vlog. So we came to Walmart, found this. So this will be in a future video. Oh my god, I got so many snacks. I got pepperoni, and then I got Propel for work. And then I got these cookies, and then I got a cheese danish, and wait, show my juice. <laughs> this is the best juice ever. Never heard of it. But yeah, so we're at Walmart. This will be soon. It must be bad, they got the road All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this week's vlog. Um, you know, made some wings, hung out, had some buddies over, shit like that. It's Walmart, that's pretty much it, I'm tired. I'm gonna edit this video and go to bed. So yeah, you guys will see this when it uploads because the computer is gonna take forever to upload this and it's gonna take forever to render and process. So this probably won't be up till Tuesday or Wednesday, but this was filmed on Saturday slash Sunday.